Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I want to talk about comments in Python or more specifically, multi-line comments in Python. Before we dive into some code examples, let's quickly talk about why do we actually need comments in programming or more specifically in Python. So usually you use comments uh, for describing the functions of your code. So you describe what your code actually does. Now this has two reasons. First, you describe this or you comment code for yourself in case you need to look that up later again. The longer your program gets, the harder it will be for you to get back into it if you have uh, put it off for a while while if it didn't work on your project for a while and you get back to it later on uh, there's a high chance that you have forget almost all of the functionality if you don't regularly look at it the other reason for commenting in programming is if you work together in a team with other people or if you work for a company and you collaborate on a certain project or on a certain piece of code with other people now you will write some code and then uh, somebody else need to do something with your code as well if you don't write a specific comments then uh, uh, nobody knows what your code actually does or um, they might figure it out but they have to read through all your code and figure it out on their own instead of you just providing information you can see it as a piece of documentation and uh, making the life of other programmers and yourself a little bit easier Especially if you're a beginner, I highly recommend writing extensive comments describing your own code because sometimes we end up following some tutorials where we only understand half of it. And if you actually write out comments to all of the functions and what they are doing, that's a great way of solidifying the knowledge. All right, let's look at some examples. So what is a comment in Python? Uh, let's say we want to print something out. Uh, by the way, guys, you can pull up the article that I will link in the video, then you can follow along step by step and you can copy all all of the code pieces here directly into Repelit. I'm using Repelit uh, for this example. If you go on this article and you click on the fork REPL button, you can pull that up and code along with me. Okay, so the first thing, uh, what we do here, we print a normal uh, line of Python code. So let's say this line gets printed. And, uh, you should be familiar with that if you are new. This is a print statement in Python. And if you just click on run here on the screen run button, you can see that this line gets printed. So this string of text gets printed out to the console. Now, what if we uh, create another line, another print statement here, and we say this line doesn't get printed and we want that or we want to avoid this line from printing. So the way of doing a single line comment in Python is by simply putting a hashtag in front of the line. And if we now run that, this line gets ignored by the compiler and is not printed out or it gets recognized as a comment and doesn't get printed out. If we remove this hashtag again, we run the code again, this line does in fact get printed. So a way to do that again is simply putting in hashtag. And what I usually like to do is put a little space between the hashtag and the actual comment line. What you can also do is in case you want to set a comment behind a single line of code, you can just go at the end of the line of this code and put a hashtag here and put a comment. This is a comment right behind the line of code. So this is something you will see pretty regularly that people do that in that way. I usually like to write comments above my code rather than uh, to the side of it, um, but that's completely up to personal preference here. All right, let's comment this line out again. So this probably raises the question, then how do we comment out multiple lines of code in case we want to test something for debugging or just uh, cutting something out of our code that we don't want to run for a while and stuff like this, or just simply writing multi-line comments that are more informative. So we can do that in a very simple fashion. There are actually two ways to go about this and there is no set way. Per default, uh, there is no real uh, multiple line comment method in Python like there is in JavaScript where you can write multi-line comments and stuff like this with a special syntax. Uh, that's not available to Python out of the box, but there is one method that allows you to comment out multiple lines and that is by using triple double quotes. So if we put triple double quotes here and we put anything really in here, print, uh, we don't want any of this. I'm just going to copy the code from the article so it's easier for you guys to follow along in the end. All right, and then we do print to be printed. Okay, so this would be a normal print statement. And as you can see, it already 
uh, doesn't recognize it as code so it is already commented out and if we would go ahead and we would remove that here then uh, we can actually go ahead and print those two lines and then if we go ahead and put triple quotes in here again we can go ahead and comment that out and if we run it again then in fact it does not run only the first statement from up here does run another way to comment out multiple lines in python that you will see regularly is by using the hashtag method once again so if you remove those triple double quotes here again and we just put a hashtag in front of all of those lines and we can go on and on forever like this some people prefer it that way some people prefer it the other way as you can see the syntax is slightly different here so this text is uh, this text is immediately marked in green here whereas if we put the triple quotes you can see that the text is marked in orange and this really comes down to personal preference now if i would write a huge bunch of text here and there would be multiple lines like maybe steps step one to step two and stuff like this i would rather not use hashtags because it's kind of it looks a little bit weird and uh, i think if you have to write larger comments then the preferred way would be triple double quotes but uh, there is no real rules for that so you can do that in a way whatever you like better another question i get asked fairly regularly is uh, how to create multi-line comments with vs code vs code is probably the most popular editor out there and a lot of python programmers are using vs code myself included and i'm going to quickly show you how to do that so i'm launching up wsl2 here in my terminal if you don't know what that is we have a whole article series on uh, wsl2 that you get your terminal looking exactly like mine here you find that on steelsec.com in the wsl2 section that you find from the navigation bar um, and if you look in here we go to tutorials and i think i have something created here ah uh, that's not it uh, let's see in here uh, there we go we go in this folder and I think then it's Python uh, and comments py so I do code dot to open my VS code and I have a whole course on WSL2 actually you can check that out if you want to see more about my developer workflow it's on available on Udemy you also find that in the WSL2 section okay let's make that smaller and as you can see here those are some statements and I already made a comment in here. You also find this information in the written article, but to comment out stuff, either a single line or multiple lines, you just highlight the line that you want to comment out and you press control and hashtag to do that. And to undo that, so to, so to say to uncomment it again, you again mark all of it and you press control and hashtag again. And the same works for multiple lines here. So you mark multiple lines, you press control hashtag and you press press control hashtag again uh, to uncomment it. Now, depending on your VS code configuration, that can differ a little bit from uh, setup to setup because some people have different keyboard layouts. Uh, usually it is control and uh, hashtag. In some cases, it can be that you need to press control, then K on the keyboard and then followed by a C for comment. So you press control K C uh, to comment things out. That's also something I regularly see. All right, guys, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you liked it. It's a rather short tutorial on Python comments. There is not really that much we can talk about when it comes to comments and multi-line comments in Python. But I think this is the most important information and we don't need to unnecessarily inflate this topic. So uh, to summarize, you can comment a single line of Python using the hashtag syntax. You can comment multi-line uh, comments in Python using triple, double quotes, or you can use multiple hashtags in a row and the shortcut to comment out single lines or multiple lines of Python code in VS Code is pressing Control and hashtag or Control K and S followed by a C. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, you know what to do. Subscribe and so on and so forth. I see you back in the next one. Thanks for watching.